book and other names. So I think uh, if there's any way we can keep it at what it is now and not increase it, I think our chances of passing it would be significantly more. We probably can't go too much further with this direct discussion. It wasn't on the agenda. So, um, but it's a really good discussion and we'll put it on July's. Right, and, and just, you know, a nice example is um, talking talking with the Lieutenant Husky. If I laid everybody off at City Hall, everybody, um, that amount of money would give us half a deputy. Uh, you know, I, uh, Aaron, I could be wrong, but I thought at the round table we talked on the Taco Tuesday Taco 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 Tuesday. Um, there, POA is. It sounds like yes, and it sounds like the POA should be picking up that cost. And I think they're already that doing that. Right, and that's Ask. one we used to. We, we used to. I, I have. That's the issue. I haven't seen that. Now they said they were paying for it, so I'll wait to see, see the bill. But I know I see a bill for Fourth of July, and I see a bill for Fifth Space. Yeah, we haven't had one for Taco Tuesday in a couple of years. So since saying, I've been here. Uh, the only thing I had noticed is I mentioned to you I'd seen some of our code enforcement right. coming just, back from the just in case. Center. Right. I've already talked to code, and so. Nobody will be going. Right. right. We used to have Cal Cops out at Taco Tuesday years ago mm -hmm. before that program was yeah. taken away from us, but uh, had a lot of them walking around out there. And a couple of them, some things they couldn't enforce, but their presence made a big difference out there. It usually does. And they, they just they just see that and it, it makes them think twice. Yeah. yeah. Which reminds me, before we go, I have a question for you. Okay. Off, off topic. So. Okay. So you sat through this. Uh, you didn't have a slip to fill out because you didn't have any questions. Do you have questions now? We'll give you one more opportunity. Oh, no. no okay. I, 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 I'm just listening. Okay. okay. I'm quite the finish yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we, we have one item of discussion. The one that's not in there is we didn't propose any uh, salary increases. So what, you'll, you'll each have a packet there of um, salaries with, with no increases. We have one where we just do steps. And then we have uh, the third one where it does a 3% COLA. We did do one over that, I should have, that did a step increase and adjusted the steps for inflation. So, okay. so it, the first salary of the budget has no increases for anybody, it's the same salaries. So if you turn to the second one, which says proposed wages step increase up on the top, that's this one here. So that's moving everybody up one step and moving Mike up to the top of his range. And so you can see off to the, in, in the blue, you have the hourly rate and then the total dollar increase. And so for that, it's $9,293 plus an additional $761 in benefits for a grand total of $10,000. One step. Okay. And this shows that Stephanie and Ruby would be at 30% there, there max, or? No, that, that's where we're budgeting her, that's all. It's 30% oh, okay. of that department. Okay. The only one at their top step is, is one code enforcement officer, and that's why if you, or special enforcement officer, that's why you like that there's no raise there because he's at the top step. Okay. Now, I have a question about that. If everybody was moved to the next step, then there would, how would that affect the future for their next raise then? Would it incrementally? increase the amount they would get for the next because they're in a higher step what, yes. than if we right. paid them just a 3% increase. Well, what what that 3% is, is I just adjusted the steps for inflation, right? Because the steps are set at this rate, but they're not, unless they're adjusted for inflation, they don't really fit, right? And so that's what that second thing is, is just adjusting the steps, but leaving them at their current step. I see most people over time will go from the first step to the last step based on reviews, and it's a merit increase. And so that's what we propose, one step increase. Or if you don't want a step increase, just adjusting the tables for, for inflation. And I can use any percent you want if you want to use the, the cost of living from April to April or May to May, but I just picked three. I think the actual cost of living is a little higher than three. Would, would so the next increase then because they're up a step be higher than if we just the steps are about four the and a half percent apart. Yes, because if you move to the next step and then that step is also adjusted for inflation, yes, the raises will go higher. So basically, doing a three percent over a long period of time would be less cost for the city than if we increase the step. Well, eventually, people want raises and. You kind of have to move them up to the steps or you're going to lose people. And so, how, but how often 
It's usually it's an annual, annual review. review. When they do the annual review, you mean people have to step every year? If it's warranted. If it's warranted. It's performance based. Yeah. After it's a merit increase. See, I wouldn't change the steps. The steps are there for a couple of reasons. One, if the performance is good, they get the step. Right. I'm more more inclined because to, to offer a salary increase and keep them at the same step they're at. With the intent, if they make it to the next step, that means they're going to get a little more money. Right. But if we automatically move them up on a step. Um, Nothing's automatic. No. So. It would be person by person basis. Right, and it's strictly based on review. So, are you asking uh, for direction on which way? Because we're not voting on this. Right, we're, I'm just kind of getting a sense of the council. Uh, you know, basically, should we should we basically go with just a step increase, or are you looking at doing a cost of living adjustment? Let's, uh, yeah, let's think about it, and um, then we'll let you know individually. We can have, let you know. have you uh, talked with staff on whether they'd rather have? More money in braces or a title and a little less money? The yeah. increase in title? Well, no, the, the, actually, we had a couple of, we had uh, um, title changes were done last year, so everybody's fairly new. So um, that's, that's, I don't think that's an issue at all. So we, we, we can bring the budget the way it is now, uh -huh. and then on Wednesday, is it Wednesday? Yes. Wednesday, you, you can vote one way or the other, and then like we did last year, we made changes that meeting, and then they yeah, will bring them into the final. So we'll leave this this budget as proposed. We won't make any sound adjustments. We'll leave the budget as proposed. That's what we'll publish today. It's a minor adjustment, yeah. so it's not. Yeah. I, I'm good with that. No, you're, 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 you're good with that. We can do. Okay. It's, it'd be less than depending on which way you go, and then the third way would be one would be to um, adjust the tables for inflation and then move people up. I see. As opposed to annually adjusting the tables, so some cities do that every year. We we adjust the tables for inflation based on like from March to March mm -hmm. or August to August, and then we get retro raises. You know, but it's just to, to move the table to keep people at least caught up with inflation. That's right, right. right. So okay. those three items: one, step increases, or raise the the current steps by a certain percentage. So that would be the discussion. Okay. Can we get see those numbers? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I'll bring that too. Okay. So, um, so, so the direction I'm getting is we're going to leave the budget the way it is, right. publish it that way, and then we'll uh, update the salary stuff and have that. Yeah, we didn't have this in time to really digest, so let's right. let's get a closer look at it. Sure. Have everybody take a look. But if you can get that, that what third or fourth set, I guess. I'll do that third. Okay. The fourth thing and send that over to um, Stephanie and she can distribute. Distribute it so that yeah. we can we can look at that. Ahead okay. Time. Yeah, I won't take off. Okay. And then also think about like what you want to use. If you want to have something that we can use, which would be the CPI. Right. So like March to March, which would be easier to do the budget if you're okay. doing it in April or April to April. Something okay. where the thing's done. But some places we'll do like August to August and then you gotta do a Right, then we have to do another one. Yeah. Raise. Yeah, let's not. Let's okay. let's decrease the the time. We have to worry about that. Okay. So do like a March to March thing. Yeah, so March to March. March, March to Any other questions? So make it easier on me today. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> We're good? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just wanted to, so this doesn't come on as a blind side. I, I think some of you know we've been talking about oh, yes. the, uh, I'm talking about now life safety inspections. Mm -hmm. Okay. Life safety fire prevention inspections. We're currently underserved um, because we don't have a service. So a lot of things are going on uh, in our community that probably should be looked at, not from a negative standpoint, but from a making sure that wherever you are, whether you're in a restaurant or at a nightclub, that you're assured everything that they're supposed to have is done and in place. Uh, we're looking, Aaron and I and another person have started looking at what it would take to do that and what it would take to make us be able to serve our citizens. I'm gonna stop you for a second. Is this related to budget? Uh, uh, could be. Can, because otherwise we really shouldn't be yeah, just right. all so, of this. So I think I think what Larry's trying to say is we're looking at fire inspections as as um, Sorry, as a program that would, yeah, would come back that would yeah. that would come back to, as part of the budget. Um, we're looking at a fire inspection fee. Then that would be included with the MBS study. Okay, and that so would be offset the operating. But I right. wanted to bring it so that it, when it 
comes, comes up, up. it counts as unsupervised. Yes, yeah, so it'll affect the budget because we'll have some initial costs and some. There, there would probably be a, maybe even a part-time person or something. There would be some probably costs associated with either Charles App or somebody else who can do plan check and things like that. Okay. So as you're aware, as when we when we bring this forward, there will be some additional costs. And we can't get this in on June, but can you talk about it in, in July? Um, sure. In July. Sure. We'll okay. add it to the well, yeah, no. So we'll, he gives a little presentation. Actually, what we'll do know. is we'll make we'll make it a discussion, and, and okay. Betsy's in the loop on this. And we've been looking at ways to be able to for us to do it because right now, when we adopt the fire code, we basically relinquish everything to the county, and they're not doing anything. Right. And now we're right. going to take it back. back. Which will make which makes us different. Yeah. Um, that's okay. Okay. Uh, I right. think we have enough ability to do it. I just didn't want to. No, 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 it's sudden, good. It's just that, you know, we've got certain just, parameters we got to stick yeah, with. And, and uh, yeah, this is those damn uh, darn brown rules. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. And, and just by way of announcements, yes. city manager announcements, I was contacted recently by BLM. Had an interesting conversation. Wanted to know if we put in any paperwork recently regarding leasing or anything like that. And I'm like, don't you guys know this? But I said, no, we're just waiting to go. So they reached out to me. It looks like Calvert must have put some pressure on them. So I would seem to think, I will say maybe at the earliest, first of the year, we might see some movement on maybe surplusing that land. Until uh, Wednesday, then Wednesday night. Six thirty for the open session. Yes, we're, we're having close. We have, like, we have uh, we're gonna two cases to talk about. Five thirty. Five five yeah, thirty for close. Six thirty for open session. Okay. Yeah. As far as I know, some just remember the the uh, all the safety and the finance is going to be Monday. Because Tuesday is finance will be Monday the fourth and at eight and public safety will be at nine thirty on Monday. Right. Okay. I have us uh, I have us uh, down at one twenty. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> So we got to talk about whether we even want to push it back the following week. I know. Thank you.